Statistics 1, Practice Paper 4, Question number 4. This is exactly as it appears on the exam paper. The discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution. So here we have the probability distribution of a random variable called x. So the probability of random variable x takes the value of minus 2 is that. The probability that the discrete random variable x takes the value of minus 1 is alpha. The probability of the random variable x takes the value of 0 is 0.2 and so on. We're told that the expected value of x, that's what that means, the expected value of x is that. Using that piece of information, find these two values here. So let's look at the expected value. The expected value of x, in other words the mean value, the average value, is worked out by multiplying these two together, adding them to those two multiplied together, adding those two multiplied together. So let's do that. So we've got that times that, which is minus 0.4, plus that times that, which is just minus alpha, plus that times that, which is 0, plus that times that, which is beta, plus that times that, which is 0.4. So this is how you work out the expected value. But in this question, you're told that that actually comes to minus 0 0.4. Two. So let's tidy that up. I've got alpha plus beta. Those two cancel and I've got that. So in other words I've got an equation connecting alpha from beta. If I can find another equation connecting alpha from beta I'll have simultaneous equations to solve. So let's call that equation 1. So where's my other equation going to come to? Well we should appreciate that in this situation these probabilities should add up to 1. So let's write that down. That plus that plus that plus that plus that. The probabilities of the individual events should add up to everything. Everything being 1. So here we've got alpha plus beta. That's 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. This is 0 0.6 subtract the 0.6 from the other side and we'll get 0.4. So there's our second equation. If we add these two equations together, write down something to tell the examiner what I'm doing, the alphas cancel and I'll get 2 beta equals add that to that and get 0.2. So therefore beta itself is 0.1. An alpha can be found by substituting that value back into either of those. This is the easier one. Put point 0.1 there, you'll get that alpha is point 0.3. So that's part A done. Let's give some marks for that. I think we should have a method mark for getting that equation, a method mark for getting that equation, a method mark for manipulating them, and a method, uh, an accuracy mark for getting the two values required. Okay, so that's part A done. Let's move on to part B. So I've rewritten the table, adding the two values we've just worked out. Write down F.5. So in other words, you need to know what that means. And that actually means the probability of X taking a value of less than 0.5 or equal to 0.5. Now in fact x can't take a value of 0.5. So really in this particular case that means the same as probability of x taking a value of 0 or less. So that's what it means but in this particular question it means do that. And that means the probability of getting that value, that value, that value added together. Probability of getting that value, probability of getting that value, probability of getting that value added together, which is that plus that plus that. Now the question actually does say write down. And 
that implies you could do all this without writing anything down at all. And that is possible. Let's face it, you could uh, do that in your head. Um, so in fact you get the two marks for just writing it down because the examiner's suggesting it. But even though the examiner's suggesting it, there's nothing to stop you writing down working out because then you could get a method mark if things go wrong. And then an accuracy mark if you get it right as well, of course. So show working out, even though the examiner's saying you don't need to because it could be to your advantage. Let's move on to part C. To see the rest of this question, go to www.masstutor.biz and consider buying the full set of Statistics 1 papers, papers 4, 5 and 6, because if you buy that, you'll get your own copy of this particular paper, paper 4, with the question 4 I've started, but there's still a part C, D and E to do, and of course the rest of the paper, which you can sit down and try yourself, and then watch the DVD that goes with it to see all of the explanations for all of these questions, questions based on actual A-level statistics papers, and also, also see the marking for all these questions. Hope to hear from you. Go to www.masstutor.biz for all information about all the maths DVDs available. Thank you very much.